Okay, so now I'm gonna eat something that's called tebasaki, which is Japanese for big ass chicken. <laughs> Up ahead you see Kumamoto Castle. It was uh, heavily damaged by the Kumamoto earthquake in 2016 and it's gonna take them about 20 years to repair the whole thing. It shouldn't really take that long but they want to restore it like exactly how it was like all the stones in the same position all that. That's why it's gonna take so long. Um, so you're not allowed to enter the castle grounds um, due to the damage and the restoration so you can only see it from the 14th floor of one of the buildings that's in front of it. Uh, that's where I am right now. And um, so this is pretty much the view you get a bit from here. Okay, we're in Kumamoto at a restaurant called Korente. No. Shit. Korente. Koran. All right, we're here in Kumamoto at a restaurant called Korente. No, Korente. <laughs> Korente. Okay, we're at a restaurant called Korante and we ordered uh, 10, 10 pin. <laughs> Fuck, what's it called again? 10 pin. 10 pin. 10 pin. <laughs> okay, we're here in Kumamoto at a restaurant called Korante and we're eating a dish called Tai Pin Yen. Tai Pin Yen. And yeah, a lot of names to remember, very difficult, but. This is supposed to be a mix of ramen and a dish called cham... Pu... Champong. Champong. Yes, that's it. And uh, it's supposed to be super good and it's uh, quite a popular dish here in Kumamoto. So um, we're only here for like two or three hours but we got to see Kumamoto Castle from far and uh, we're going to eat one of the popular dishes here. There's also a popular ramen dish I want to try. Don't know if we have time for that though. So let's get into it. So the broth pretty light, nice and salty, and egg is really interesting. I've never seen this before. The outside's kind of like, I don't know, like fried. Inside's like boiled, but it's a boiled egg. Kind of interesting. Then you got some shrimps, and I think it was crab meat. Wasn't too crazy about that once I gave it to Calvary, but you also got some pork in here. Super good. Mm. So the egg is interesting. Has a nice like fried taste on the outside, and. The noodles are actually like the see-through like rice noodles, so it's not quite a ramen. All right, all finished. It was really good. Um, lighter than ramen because the noodles were like the thin rice noodles, and the broth wasn't so fat. So if you're the kind of person who likes to drink all your broth like me, like you won't feel sick after drinking all of it. And um, yeah, the egg was like super interesting. Never seen like a boiled egg with a fried outside before. Yeah, pretty solid meal. Alright, now next in Kumamoto, we're having Kumamoto ramen. It looks so good. Apparently it's a mix of chicken broth and tonkatsu pork broth, which sounds freaking awesome. I can't wait to eat it. Got the ramen set, which comes with a bowl of rice. <laughs> yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, six gyoza. All right. As usual, broth first. This looks like my type of ramen. Very cloudy broth. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. I've never had like chicken and pork broth mixed together. That's amazing. It's like. Nice and garlicky is also. And I think you're gonna like the noodles because you like the thinner ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is your style of ramen. The egg's a bit like more cooked than I would like it, but I think that's just how they do things here. And, uh, the chashi looks good too. I'm gonna get into that. Alright. 
get into some chashu. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, chashu is really nice. And some noodles. Mm. Noodles also really, really good. Usually, like, they're a bit harder, but I forgot to order it that way. Mm. Egg's nice, but when it's soft boiled, it takes in the flavors a lot better. Alright, next is the gyoza. Let's try a bite of the sauce. Mmm. Oh, it's really juicy. Inside looks like this. Mm. Yeah, those are super good. Nice and juicy. Alright, it's all finished. So, for me, the highlight of that meal was definitely the broth. I never had like chicken and tonkatsu pork broth mixed together. It actually like cuts the heaviness of regular rich tonkatsu broth so like you're not supposed to drink the whole thing anyway but I did and I don't feel as heavy as I would as if I did that with just regular tonkatsu broth so um, definitely yeah Kumu, for me Kumamoto ramen uh, the best part of it is definitely the broth that was really delicious very good meal so samdashita Okay, so now I'm gonna eat something that's called tebasaki, which is Japanese for big ass chicken. <laughs> I think this is apparently according to the post, it's like 30 centimeters and seasoned with salt and pepper. Uh, probably amongst other things, looks like this glaze on there too. So, it comes with a stick so you don't get your hands dirty. Oh, that's hot. Very well seasoned, and I don't know what the glaze is on there, but it's really good. And like, because all the parts are still in there, like, you still get that nice, like, fat and stuff on that. The skin's on there, too. Mm. So, if you ever want to feel like a Japanese Viking, get one of these things. Super big. Really good. So, just to give you a sense of how much meat's actually in here. Once you remove the skin, it looks like this. And after eating for about half of it now, um, I don't think there's actually a glaze on it. I think it's just like really well fried. And like, since it's so big, it has like a high fat content, so it's like really glistening and juicy. Mm, it's a really awesome chicken wing, best chicken wing I've ever had. And I don't even know what kind of chicken to get this from. I've never seen a chicken this big in my life. <coughs> Alright, all done. So that was just the most amazing chicken wing I've ever had in my life. Try to eat it as clean as possible without looking like a savage. Mm, wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be and I still looked like a savage eating it. Definitely not um, a food I would recommend on a first date or anything. Unless you're already really comfortable with that person. Um, yeah, so I really feel like this thing should come with like a set with like a pack of floss or something because because it's so big It's like a lot of fiber and stringy pieces. Gets yeah, really stuck in your teeth uh, Probably where I'm gonna go now. We'll get some floss But that was an amazing meal. It's so some